Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So how do we go ahead and combine like terms? Well, basically, we need to understand what like terms are. And what like terms are is you know, very, very pretty much terms that are going to have the same variable factors. All right. Now, pretty common what we've been dealing with before we even got to you know, uh, variables is we just dealt with numbers. And numbers always had, they didn't have, um, they always had the same variable factor because there was no variables, right? There's no x and y. If I just want to combine 5 plus 3, then I can just combine them. There's no variables attached. So 5 plus 3 is just going to equal 8, right? Now, once we started getting into adding variables, um, remember a variable represents an unknown, right? We don't know what x represents or y in these examples. They could represent the number 1. They could represent the number 100, right? So they, they are unknowns. So if I'm going to say 5 plus an unknown, I can't give that a de definitive number like 9 or 23. I don't know what x is. So therefore, I cannot combine these because here I have no variable factor. Here I have. Uh, one uh, variable factor of x. But they don't have the same, right? One has no variables. One has one var a variable to the first power. So therefore, I can't combine them, so I just leave them as 5 plus x. Here, we have two unknowns that are not the same, right? One's an x, one's a y. So x represents one number, y represents another. Again, we don't know what they represent, though. So I can't say x is 8 and y is 7. I don't know what they are. So therefore, they're not the same. They don't have the same variable factors. So therefore, I cannot combine them. So I just leave this as x plus y. All right, so now let's kind of get into, well, how are we going to combine them then when they do have the same variable factors? For instance, 5x plus 3y. Those have the same variable factors. They both have an x. And the factors of x are x and 1, right? When you look into like factoring x, you can see that the variable factors of x are just x and 1. So therefore, both of these terms have the same variable factors. Therefore, I can combine them. Now, when you combine them, we're only going to combine the coefficients. We're going to keep the variable factor the same. So 5x plus 3x is equal to 8x. And the most common way of looking at this is kind of um, using apples and oranges, right? So I think of this a lot of times the reason you know we say, well, why is it not um, you know, 5 uh, plus 5x squared or 5 2x? Think about it. If you said, you know, if you have five apples plus three apples, right? Even though x is an unknown, it's not really representing apples, but that's exactly the kind of same idea though of what we're doing. Five apples plus three apples equals eight apples. The same thing. If I said Five apples plus, or an apple plus an orange equals, right? You can't say, oh, two apples or two oranges, right? Um, so a lot of times we use them to kind of, kind of get our point through. Now, here again where it gets a little more confusing. Here I have 5x squared plus 3x. So they both have x, but again, they do not have the same variable factors. Why? Because, well, what are the factors of x? We already said we can factor x into x times 1, right? Well, what are the variable factors of x squared? The variable factors of x squared are x times x. So therefore, the factors of x squared are x times x, where just the factors of x are just x, right? And 1, obviously, always 1's there. So therefore, they don't have the same variable factors. So I cannot combine them. They're not like terms. So we just rewrite this as 5x squared plus 3x. So lastly, what I'm going to do is just kind of go over when we do have an expression that we're looking into combining like terms. The basically, the best thing I like to do is group your like terms together. You see that I have this 5x to the fourth and 2x to the fourth. Those are like terms. Whereas over here, I have a negative 4x and a positive x. Those are both like terms, right? So all I'm going to do is just rewrite my equation, 5x to the fourth plus 2x to the fourth minus 4x plus x. So I'm just going to group them so they're next to each other, so it's a lot easier for me to combine them. You don't have to do this, but I think it's very helpful when trying to like, especially not get things mixed up and make mistakes. So then just do 5x squared plus 2x. Again, that's like 5 bananas plus 2 bananas would be 7 bananas. But in this case, our bananas is x to the fourth. And then negative 4x plus x would be a negative 3x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a basic understanding of how we combine like terms. Thanks.